So the Fargo Film Festival is underway, and one of the guests this year is Rich Summer, actor, Concordia graduate. Uh, Rich, welcome back to town. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. So what's it like being back in Fargo? Well, first of all, what year did you graduate from Concordia? 2000. Okay. So what's it like being back 12 years later and with a, a bigger event? It's uh, It's been great. I mean, first off, it's uh, not the town I left. Um, Fargo has has really gone through some amazing and wonderful changes, I think. Um, it's, uh, you know, my recollection of it was that it wasn't quite as art-centered as it seems to be now. People seem to be really um, pushing for that. And um, uh, the Fargo Theater is, is more beautiful than I remember. And uh, it's it's been really exciting. It's, it's just fun to be here. Do you have any particular memories of having gone to the Fargo Theater before? I do, uh, yeah. The um, uh, AFI, American Film Institute, did a, a national tour of Library of Congress films. Every film that they showed in this festival was from the Library of Congress. And uh, they came to Fargo for a week in, I think, 2000. It was just before I graduated. And I skipped a, an entire week of class and saw every screening of every film uh, from top to bottom, it's starting at you know 10 in the morning and leaving every night at 10 at night. And it was, uh, it was awesome. I, it was really fun to spend that week there. So what... Are there any particular movies or appearances of people that you want to see during the film festival? What are you looking forward to? Um, I am. Uh, I mean, it's all. It's all been kind of interesting. Most of them are filmmakers and movies that I don't know. Uh, I'm excited to meet Fred Stoller, who's an actor and uh, a writer. And uh, you know, it's silly, but I'm a big Dumb and Dumber fan, and he has a pretty iconic moment in that movie, so that'll be fun. Um, Matt Walsh, who uh, directed the movie High Road, is going to be here with uh, uh, Matt L. Jones and Joe Latrulio from the movie, and uh, I know those guys, uh, and so it'll be fun to have have my worlds collide, having my my you know weirdo LA friends come to where I went to college. It's, it's kind of fun. So uh, people probably best know you from Mad Men. Mad Men starts again when? March 25th. So couple weeks right around the corner so uh what i know you can't give too much away mm -hmm. what 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 sh what could people expect this year i mean story-wise i can't give anything away obviously uh but uh, i think for my money it's it's my favorite season that we've done um i think the scripts are the strongest uh so i think people can expect if they've been entertained by the first four seasons to hopefully uh uh get paid off on that investment uh, in a lot of ways. A Mad Men certainly developed a big, uh, you can't even call it a cult following, a big mainstream following. Were you surprised at all that uh, at how big it got and how fast? Yeah, I mean, I'm still sort of surprised at the response to it. Um, we, don't, we don't have the biggest viewership on TV. I mean, we only really get maybe four or five. Five is huge, huge for us if we got five million viewers, but NCIS on the same night gets 27 million viewers. So uh, the fact that people know what our show is is still very exciting to me and that they seem to regard it well. And um, But uh, did we ever, ever think any of this would be happening? No, I was 100% sure I wouldn't have a job past the pilot. So this has been, uh, it's all been icing. After the Fargo Film Festival, people who are here may remember you from the celebrity event on Saturday mm, night. Let's it, hope not. Explain to people what this is. <clears throat> celebrity is a, it's a party game. There's a party game called Celebrity, and uh, Matt Walsh, who I mentioned, will be here with his movie High Road, uh, and Rich Fal uh, Fulcher, who is a comedian uh, who's in a group called The Mighty Boosh, created a stage version of Celebrity, and they asked me to host it at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in Los Angeles, which I've done a few times, and it's a blast. Um, part of why it's a blast is that it is a very ramshackle version of uh, a fake TV show, basically. I mean, it's just barely held together by um, our wits. And uh, in most times, I'm sure we're just going to go careening off the edge and it's all going to go out the window. We somehow succeeded each time, but now we've upped the stakes. We've uh, upped the seating capacity. We're at the Fargo Theater in Fargo, North Dakota. It's our first time on on the road with this show. So it's going to be, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So now you are the host of this. Do you develop a persona like a guy smiley? No, no, it's very much me, and I'm very clear throughout of uh, what what you're in for. I don't really uh, try to upsell our show at all. That's for sure. I don't think you'll find any press uh, from me this weekend, uh, this week, saying uh, you're in for uh, something amazing. 
Uh, but we do have fun. I guarantee it will be fun. Uh, you will enjoy yourselves. And if we see this going off the rails, um, we'll be the first ones to push it right off the tracks and make sure it crashes spectacularly. When I talked to Matt, he, I asked him how long it goes. He said far too long. Oh, far too long. That is absolutely right. No matter how, if it's 10 minutes long, this conversation about it, we've already given it more weight and more importance than anyone ever should. It's terrible. There are posters, there are posters with, with Walsh's face on it and my face. And I saw it and I took a picture of it and I was just like, wow, who, how dare they legitimize this awful thing that we've done? It's going to be something. Well, let's, get, let's give people a taste of what it is. Well, the game is played basically, um, we will, the, the twist that we have, and I, I, I hesitate to call it a twist, but the twist that we have is that uh, in the party game, usually you're playing at home with your friends. We bring uh, audience members on stage and they play with actual celebrities. Uh, so we will have some of the luminaries from the Fargo Film Festival uh, there, and we'll bring up some audience members to play with them. But basically what happens is there's a bucket of names. Um, on The names are celebrity names, and that's uh, people who are real or fictional, uh, living or dead, who are famous. That's, that's our criteria for what goes in there. Um, and uh, the, the whole goal of the game is to get your uh, partner to know who you're talking about as quickly as you can, get as many points as you can. So uh, our friend Ryan wrote down some celebrities that... Neither you or I have seen these slips, and I, I'm just going to... I mean, this is a bad example of a bad show, so just know that. All right, so here we go. Uh, this, actor, this actor is in the movie Rain Man. Uh, Dustin Hoffman. That's right. Uh, this guy directed a lot of movies. The Shining, he directed... Uh, Stanley Kubrick. Full Metal Jacket, yes, Stanley Kubrick. Um, uh, a musician from Minnesota. Uh, he has a park... Uh, Prince. Th yes. Or the artist formerly known as Taff Cap. Uh, no, Prince was fine. Uh, <laughs> this one wore a dress made of meat. Oh, Lady Gaga. Yes. And uh, this is one of the Beatles, still alive, uh, Kisses on the Bottom. His album just came out a oh, couple Oh, Paul McCartney. Years. Yes. Sir Paul. Sir, <laughs> Sir Paul. That's pretty much how the game goes, uh, but it's done with a, a celebrity and an audience member. Uh, the stakes go up a little bit, and then we have a final uh, bonus picture round, which we try to make suspenseful. Um, and it fails every time. We, we, there's so much to be worked out about the show. It's going to be fun. Just know it'll be fun. As much as I am uh, uh, taking a dump all over it, it's still a really fun show. And so my prize today for winning? Your prize <coughs> is uh, you and a guest, I don't know, can call me on <laughs> Skype and I will disrobe for you. <laughs> That's your prize for winning. Well, I think we both win. <laughs> I think, right? Everybody wins. Everybody wins. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, John. <laughs>